in general, what we find in our study is that in emerging markets, Asia, uh, in particular India and China, that opinion leaders tend to be very quick to trust institutions, much more quick than Western Europe and the United States, but very quick to punish institutions if something goes wrong. So a recent example is trust in business in China. Trust in business in China was roughly in the kind of mid-60s to low-70s trust rate before the melamine scandal hit. We had melamine scandal, we had a food issue related to dumplings, and as well as we had a product safety issue related to paint on children's toys. And when those things hit together, our Chinese opinion leads in the next year dropped trust in business down to net distrust, so minus 50%. So we had a very quick and rapid reaction to punish business or to decrease our trust in business as it related to a particular scandal. However, business can repair that damage pretty quickly by increasing its transparency, by having CEOs or people responsible out in front of the issue and saying what happened and why it happened and, and what they're doing, again, to make sure it doesn't happen, as well as to have a broader dialogue with government and with NGOs to support their point of view. So business in the last 12 months has seen a nice repairing of, of its trust with those institutions. Well, I think the first thing that public relations professionals in emerging markets Asia again need to realize is we're no longer communicating messages on behalf of our clients. We are enabling dialogue on behalf of our clients. So just like we've always had to have dialogue with mainstream media reporters, we now need to get our clients comfortable with the digital world, a world of search, a world of portals, a world of social media, combined with mainstream media now going to online and building social media functionality into their sites. And that means that we need to put news and information into these sites and into the hands of our stakeholders that allow them to have a dialogue about our news and information that is timely and that is transparent and that our corporate brands or our product brands are a part of.